Hi, welcome to Made at Home, Taste Buds on a Budget Series. I'm Katie Cullum. I'm the Family and Consumer Science Agent in White County with the University of Arkansas Cooperative Extension Service. Also is Becca Stackhouse. She's the Family and Consumer Science Agent in Crisp County with the University of Georgia. And together we're bringing you this Made at Home, Taste Buds on a Budget Series. First up, plan for your budget. The number one thing to do to save money on food is to make a plan. So plan your weekly meals, write them down, write them all down. Now, some people plan mostly dinners and have some breakfast ingredients, or you can plan all three meals for the day plus snacks for the kids. If you're new at planning your meals, then this may be the way to go. Or if you're home with your family because you're quarantined or everybody's home, then this is, may also be a really good idea. That way you can say, oh, here's the meal plan for the day. When anybody asks, what's for dinner? Another question to ask is, do you cook everything from scratch? Or do you use a lot of convenience foods? Convenience foods are very convenient, but they tend to be a little bit more expensive. If you cook from scratch, it's usually less expensive, but it takes more time. So you'll have to consider those two things and maybe do more of a mix. Another thing to think about is your schedules. Get out your calendar and see what's going on. Do you have to work late one night or do the kids have some activities? Plan around those activities and plan something simple for dinner on those nights especially because that would be better than going out to eat again. Another thing to ask is what's on sale? We still get sale paper, so I can check and see if there's some really good deals for the week. Lastly, look at leftovers and in inventory. You may have leftovers from a night or two ago, or during the holidays especially, you may have picked up some extra things for your pantry and you may need to use those up right now because that can help you save money on your budget this week. So once you've made your whole menu plan for the week, then it's time to make your grocery list. Try to get everything that you need. I like to write my grocery list out by the order that I go in the store. That way I'm not going to have to backtrack too much, hopefully. And stick to your list. That's a really good way to save money because you don't want to buy a lot of on impulse because you tend to spend more money that way. Now, if you see a great deal, be flexible enough and know how it's going to affect your budget so that you can take advantage of it if possible. And remember, stick to that budget or stick to your list because that will help you stick to your budget. So after you've made your plan, it's time to shop smart. Now you wanna check your unit prices. Sometimes they're right there on the labels at the store for you and it's really convenient. Sometimes you may have to figure it out though. So you can divide the price by the number of ounces or the other whatever unit it is. And this allows you to compare different sizes and packages. Now usually a larger package is going to be less expensive per unit, but that's not always true, so you have to kind of check it. Another thing to check is that nutrition label. You want to get the most nutrient bang for your buck. You don't want to pay a lot of, a lot of money for sugar and not much else. So look at those ingredients and look at the, the nutrition label and see, is this a really good deal for my family? Am I getting a lot of nutrients for this price or not? So number three, use it. Don't waste your food, eat it. I hate throwing food out. So try not to do that. Repurpose those leftovers. Use extra vegetables or even leftover meat in a salad or an omelet. You can even make egg muffins for some breakfast. Um, you can make a casserole if you've got some leftover rice, some extra meat, some extra vegetables. You can probably put together a great casserole. And you can always take leftovers for lunch. It's one of my favorite things to do. Another thing to do is keep food safe. Check the quality. Make sure that you get the best that you can. And look at the dates on those packages. I really like to check the packages on salads and milk and try to get the furthest date out so that they will last as long as possible, hopefully. Um, FIFO is first in, first out. So if you bought a can of pumpkin at the 
Thanksgiving before the pandemic, then you want to use that one before you use the pumpkin you just bought and didn't use for last Thanksgiving. So try to use up the things that have been in the pantry longer or the freezer or the refrigerator. First in, first out. So hopefully you picked up a few tips for making the most of your food dollars by planning. Next time, we'll talk about some cheap tricks. And I cannot wait to see Becca's recipe. Roasted potatoes and vegetables. Then she can turn the leftovers into egg muffins. Yum. Hi guys, welcome back to another Made at Home episode. We are starting out 2021 with talking about budgets. So we've just learned some tips and tricks. And so now we are gonna do our Made at Home episode. We're gonna talk about roasted vegetables. So potatoes, peppers, and onions. And we're gonna add those into eggs as leftovers. So we're gonna make the potatoes and the onions to go with some chicken, some turkey, some beef, just as your side to burgers. And then the leftovers that you don't eat, we're gonna put into eggs for breakfast the next day. So I've already got our peppers and our onions here because they were frozen and already sliced. So there's a convenience way to do it. Um, it costs you about a dollar for the bags that I buy. And so then we've got our red potatoes. So with your red potatoes, you're gonna make sure that you scrub them really, really well before you get them going. And then we're just gonna slice them into some cubes. So our recipe calls for them to be about an inch-ish. And so we're gonna just do it on our pan. We're just gonna spread those vegetables out um, as we get started. And so this is one way to kind of mix in some of your carbs through your vegetables, but also give yourself another source through your peppers and make a colorful side. Then we're gonna need olive oil and our spices. So our spices are salt, paprika, Italian seasoning, pepper, and some garlic. So I'm gonna mix those into our olive oil. By me mixed into our olive oil, it'll kind of help us spread it throughout our, um, over here on our stoneware a little bit. I'm gonna slide our knife out of the way. So at the same time that I was getting all of this ready, our oven is also over there preheating to 425. So your vegetables are gonna cook at 425 for 20 to 30 minutes. So we're just gonna coat our, we're gonna just coat our vegetables with our olive oil mixture. You can also do this by putting it into a bowl and mixing your vegetables up that way as well. So this is kind of debunking that. Let's take some leftovers and turn them into multiple dishes. So. We cook one dish, but we get multiple uses out of that dish. So we're gonna stick this into our oven for about 20 to 30 minutes or until your fork can go into the potatoes. And we will come back and talk about how we're gonna mix it into the eggs. So we are back to talk about those vegetables. So you roasted those vegetables, you've got some left over. Now we are going to make our breakfast for tomorrow. So you're gonna add eggs, and I'm probably gonna add somewhere around 12 eggs here, but I'm gonna show you two different ways that you actually can do this. So one is pulling all of your eggs into a bowl. The other is taking one egg and in your pan directly cracking the egg into the muffin tin. I'm going to show you both ways to do this. 
So you got two different ways. So this is a great way for you to meal prep and be able to have breakfast ready. We got a shell in there. Have breakfast ready for each of those people that are walking out of your house at four o'clock in the morning. Or just quick, ready, heat up breakfast for school. So those are the two ways that we're gonna to look at it. I'm gonna rinse my hands and move our eggs. We're gonna beat our eggs that are in our bowl. I'm gonna give our little, I'm just gonna break the egg yolks. So there's all kinds of ways you can add. You need your oven preheated to about 350. And we're gonna take those vegetables that were left over or that you intentionally made. We're going to drop it into our egg mixture here. And then we'll add to our egg muffins as well. So one way you kind of know everybody's getting one full egg. The other way you average two because you're pulling it and you're splitting it up pretty equally. Pooling just means you're collecting all of those eggs into one location. So here, we're going to mix it all together. cups on these and then we're going to put them in so we're going to pull each there's our oven so they look pretty similar except your eggs are just a little more beaten with the ones that were done in the bowl So just do them until your eggs are about cooked. Usually takes about 10-15 minutes. And that is how we're going to use our leftover vegetables. So remember, what you make for dinner can be lunch tomorrow or it can be thrown into a casserole or egg muffins. So thanks for joining us on this episode of Made at Home. Thank you for joining Katie and I as we provided Made at Home Taste Buds on a budget series to you. So remember, these will be dropping weekly and we would love to hear your feedback on it. Please leave us a comment on the platform that you're watching.